everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. Today we're talking about inequalities on a number line. This is not linear inequalities, things like y is greater than 3x plus 4. Not that. That is a different conversation, a different video that will be coming out shortly. Now this is just inequalities on a number line. Well, so first things first, what is a number line? It's pretty straightforward. I bet you'll never guess. It's so hard to figure out. It's a line with numbers on it. I know, right? Mind blown. But yes, that's all it is. It's a line and it has numbers on it. Usually you'll have zero, you'll have some positives, you'll have some negatives, but honestly, this could be anywhere among the infinite amount of numbers. But this is our number line. Now, what is an inequality? They use the greater than sign, the less than sign, the greater than or equal to sign, or the less than or equal to sign. And they're used to compare numbers or variables and numbers. So if I was comparing numbers, I could say, 5 is less than 8, 10 is greater than 3, 2 is less than or equal to 2, because it's equal to, and 4 is greater than or equal to 1. Those are all true statements. And you go, okay, yes, but where does the number line come in? Well, it comes in when we add variables to the mix. So things like x is greater than 3, x is less than 3. We're going to do all four versions here. x is greater than or equal to 3. x is less than or equal to 3. All four of these versions are going to be graphed slightly differently on the number line. So first things first, x is greater than 3. And actually, here's the division. Those on the left, the greater than or less than, and those on the right, the greater than or equal to, and the less than or equal to. They each share, each group shares a common attribute when you are putting them on a number line. For the greater than or less than, you're going to start with an open circle at the number that you are saying it's greater than or less than. And over here, you're going to start with a closed circle or a dot. And I'll show you on the number line what I mean by that. So x is greater than 3. I'm going to, so I'm starting with x is greater than 3. I look at my number line and I find the number 3. And I go, ah, this is greater than, not greater than or equal to. So I'm going to put an open circle on the number 3. Then I want to show all the numbers that are greater than 3. 2, 1, 0, are those greater than 3? No. 4 and all the numbers up here, like 5, 6, 7, 500, whatever, they are all greater than 3. So I'm going to darken the line over here, and I'm going to color in that arrow. And follow whatever instructions your teacher gives you if she wants you to use colored pens, colored pencils, or just wants you to just make it dark and very clear. Again, this open circle means that it's right up next to three, but not three. Three does not make this true. If I put three, is three greater than three? That's not true. So three doesn't, but everything up next to three, even like say something like 3.00001, that would be true as well. And that's what that open circle means. So what if we had a um, other one? Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I have mad erasing skills. What if I do this one? X is less than 3. Same thing. Greater than and less than use an open circle. So I go, all right, 3. I need to put an open circle on 3. And now I need to shade or color in or darken all the side, all the numbers on the side that are less than three. So less than is gonna be going to the left. 
all these numbers over here are less than three. So we color those in or darken them. Now, how about the ones over on the right hand side? How about these over here? X is greater than or equal to three. We're we'll gonna do that one first. Very similar to X is greater than three, but again, we're going to use a closed circle or dot. So X is greater than or equal to three. I go to three on my number line and I make a solid closed circle or dot. Then I shade or color in the part that is greater than three. Greater than goes to the right because these numbers, four, five, 10 million, are all greater than three. For X is less than or equal to three, again, still using this colored in dot, this closed filled in circle. X is less than or equal to three. I find three on the number line. I make a solid colored dot. Less than goes to the left because all these numbers are less than three and I color it in. So far so easy, right? Yeah, you got this. And then they throw the er, the curveball, the swerve. They change everything because of course they do. And they add two words and or. Hmm. So they might have X is greater than negative two and X is less than four. Or they might say X is less than three or X is greater than zero. All right, so let's start with the and. X is greater than negative two and X is less than four. They want both of these to be represented on this number line. Now this doesn't mean graph both of these things in their entirety. It means only graph the values of X that make this true. So X, X must be greater than negative two and less than four. It has to be both of those things to be part of your answer on the number line. So you only want to be where they overlap, only where they overlap. This also can be written like this, where they put the X in between, saying it's greater than negative two, but it's less than four. Both of these expressions mean the exact same thing. So I'm going to, above the number line, draw in what these two might be, and then I'm gonna figure out where they would overlap. So X is greater than negative two. It's a greater than, not a greater than or equal to. So that would be an open circle and then it's gonna be shading to the right. All the numbers greater than. I'm gonna erase this for a second just to give us a little more room. And then the X is less than four. That would mean an open circle at four and shading to the left. So I only want where these things overlap. I didn't draw it, but it does keep going on. Both of these keep going on <laughs> forever like that. So where do they overlap? They overlap in this area right here. So I need to represent that on the number line. So I'm going to put an open circle at negative two and an open circle at four, and I'm going to shade between them and that's it. That is my final answer because that right there represents all the X's that would be both greater than negative two and also less than four. So what if it was an or statement? Like let's say it was X is less than negative two or X is greater than or equal to one. Either of these would be okay. The X can be in this category or in this category and it would still be an answer to this. So I'm just going to uh, draw both of them above here 
and then I'm going to make my number line. So x is less than negative 2. Less than means an open circle. And less than also means going to the left. So an open circle at negative 2, going to the left. x is greater than or equal to 1 would mean a closed circle or dot at 1 and going to the right. And since it's an OR statement, I want both of these to be on my number line. So that's what I'm going to do. Open circle at negative 2, shading to the left, closed circle at 1, shading to the right. And that would be my final answer. Now there's a couple of little exceptions that they like to throw in there that are a little tricky. And I'm going to show you both of them. One of them would be x is greater than 1 and x is less than negative 2. Well, if I draw those out above my number line, x is greater than 1. That would be an open circle at 1 and shading to the right. x is less than negative 2 would be an open circle at negative 2 and shading to the left. Is there an overlap? No. There are no numbers that are greater than 1, but also and less than negative 2. So there's no solution, and you would color nothing on your number line. The other one, which is a little strange looking, would be an or situation, and that would be x is, let's say, greater than negative 3, or x is less than or equal to 1. Well, we want the answers to both of them. We want to put all the possible values on this number line. So x is greater than negative 3 would be an open circle at negative 3 going to the right. x is less than or equal to 1 would be a closed circle or dot at 1 and going to the left. They overlap completely. They cover everything. <laughs> There is nothing, there is no number that would not work here. Even negative 3. I know there's an open circle here for the negative 3, but negative 3 is less than or equal to 1, so it's included in this part of it. And since this is an OR, we want to graph everything that would fit either of these, so your final answer is going to be shading the whole number line because it's all real numbers fit this number line or make this answer. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.